Okay, welcome back. It's finished. Um, you can just have a quick preview of it. See, so, so this is kind of what it looks like. Um, obviously you can refine this. I probably shouldn't have done what I did with the circle because it's kind of that's completely unnecessary to do. But because I'm random, I felt like doing it. It does look a bit bizarre, probably because what I've done with the circle. It's kind of defying gravity a bit, but it's regardless. Um, so what's pretty cool about this method, anyway, the way I do it, is you're done in real flow now. You don't need to export anything. You just need to go back into Cinema 4D. Just close that. All you need to do now is go Plugins, Next Limit, Mesh Loader. Da -da. And then you get an object here. Nothing happens. So now it's a bit like, oh my god. Anyway, so you want to hit Sequence, and then when it says Bin File Sequence, just click on the little three dots. And then you're going to want to go to your username. This works on Windows and Mac. And you want to go to Scenes. And you want to go to... Uh, where's it gone now? Uh, bath. I don't know what mine's on, but it should just say Bathtub. But mine's been a bit daft. Um, but anyway, you want to just go to what you named the file and then Meshes. And then you just want to click on the first mesh and hit Open. So now if we hit play, dun 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 dun, dun we have a animated mesh all worked out for us, so we can all be lazy bums. Um, now this is what I was telling you about, where it says import scale, I just changed it to 0 0.95. The reason being, if I just play this back, it just seems to fit a little better in the bathtub, to me. It just matches the geometry of the bathtub a little bit better. Um, so if we if we were to just quickly do a uh, a render, all well and good, but that does not look like water. Now there's two ways you can do this. One, so the first way you can do it, which will work for everyone, is if you go into Cinema 4D. This comes with all versions of Cinema 4D. So unless if you don't have this, then you've got a problem. Anyway, you want to go into Basic, and then uh, scroll up, and then you, these three glass ones work well. I personally like that one. So if we then just drop this onto the water and then render, we've got a little bit more of a watery look than before. If we zoom in, you see it's a little bit more watery, kind of more realistic. But we can go one better because yet again, if you if you were able to get that bathtub, you'll be able to get this. Because in the architecture edition, if you go materials, natch, na ugh, na natural, nature, excuse me, then you've actually got water pool. It says animated, doesn't do much though. Um, so you're just gonna want to delete the material. You can just drop it on and it'll overwrite the material, but I just do it for a keepsake. So now when we render it out, it's looking, in my opinion, quite a lot better than the glass. All the glass, although the glass does work quite well. Um. But other than that, I suppose you could do, excuse me, you could make your own texture. But I'm going to pause again, and I'm going to render this out as a preview. Oh, God. No. Yes. What you're going to want to do to do a preview is just hold down, hit make preview. I'm just going to do mine a bit bigger, so I'm going to do mine, um, let's think. For 480, I think it is. 480. It is kind of SD. So I'm going to do 480. And so you'll see here's your progress, but I'm just going to pause so that you don't have to sit through the progress. So I will be back in a mini when it is done. See you then. Hey guys, um, I'm back. We've done it. So this is what it should look like. Something along these lines. Uh, why isn't it playing? There we go. Obviously you can play around with the different emitter te- uh, Excuse me. Different emitter- kind of shapes and stuff, but otherwise this is kind of what we've made with relatively little effort. Um, you can do it with different kinds of shapes, it doesn't actually have to be um, something that holds it, you can just have a, a square or should I say a cube, and then have water emit on top of it and then it will fall apart, but this is just kind of how I did the bath, this is how you do a bath type thing. So yeah, so hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helped. Send in your requests if you would like me to do any other kinds of tutorials. So yeah, so thanks for watching. See you next time. So yeah.